In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a random meme generator, at least start off the project. Now, what you should have done already is found at least five images that you want to make into memes. I've already found a few. I'm just going to load up two into my project. Okay, so let's start with this. I'm going to go find my files, which I've already downloaded. Hopefully you've done the same. I got a dog. And you know what? Let's find one more. Uh, teacher and student photo. Let's see if I can get a good one here. Images. Um, ooh, that's a that looks weird. Let's go with that weird one. Okay, and we'll say teacher. All right, I'll make myself a teacher meme. Who doesn't like a good teacher meme, right? Okay, so we go to oh, I gotta add in another one. So let's go here. I'm gonna add another file. So here we go, add file. Let's get my teacher photo. There we go. That's a good one. Great. So now that I've got my two, what I'm going to do today is actually I'm only going to set up one variable for my image. I'm actually going to show one at a time. I'm going to have buttons that click around to show different ones, but I only want one image. So I'm going to say let uh, meme image. Okay. And then I'm going to make my preload function to preload it in. So I'm going to do function pre preload. And here we're going to say meme image is equal to, and let's go create image, IMG, and we're going to load in the teacher one. So it's teacher.jpg. All right, and you should see it show up on the screen. It takes a second to load, way too big. Now, for this project, I'd like you to change a few things. Let's change our set our canvas to 400 by 600. Actually, let's make it 600 by 600, okay? Make it a little bit bigger. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our image. So our mean image, let's put the position at um let's get it at zero uh and then we're at 50. we're going to drop it down a little bit okay so that should move it down just a little bit and then we're going to say meme image and we're going to set the size of it and we want the size of our memes to actually be uh let me think for a second yeah 400 uh let's do 500 by oh man i got this 600. let's take a look here let's see how it's looking I guess that doesn't really work. Oh, we want it to be 600 by 500. Come on, Steve. You're better than this. You know these things. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Actually, now let's move it up to 600 by 450. Sorry, guys. Okay, perfect. That's our image that we're going to start off with, right? And what I'm also going to do now is that I'm going to make the text on the top and the bottom. Now, keep in mind that every time we go to a new image, I wanted to change the image, but I also wanted to change the text that's being displayed. So I want these to be variables. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say let meme header text and let meme footer text. Now, the meme that I've come up with here, I'm going to initialize. So I'm going to say meme header header text. What I'm going to say is um, is equal to this string. That face you make when, really memeing it up well. And then meme footer text. Uh, yo, got to use some slang here. Your teacher has bad breath, but they helping you with work. So you, yeah, right? Because like your teacher has bad breath, but like you don't want to like tell them they have bad breath because they're helping you. If you tell them, they might not help you anymore. You know, that's how it goes. All right, so now we want to display that text. So the first text, I'm going to say, I want my text to be meme header text, right? I'm going to display that at, um, let's do that at 30. Um, actually, let's do that at 10 and 30. All right, so remember, it takes three, what we want to be displayed, which is meme header text, and one at the position 1030. Let's see how that looks. It's great. Let's increase the text size a little bit. Let's go text size. Let's make that uh, 30. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Let's move it down just a little bit. Maybe 40? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so then we're going to make another text. We're going to say text meme footer text and we're going to put that at 10 
and then let's see our image is 450 plus 50 plus 5 so let's try it at 510 let's see if that shows up Oop, a little bit too high let's try that at 540 with it okay and this needs to be a little all right that's good all right it goes off the screen so we'd actually have to split into two but i don't want to so i'm just gonna say when your teacher has bad breath okay is that useful breath breath yeah, okay, I got it. See, I'm not... All right, so that's good. So this is our first meme, right? Looks good. We got our text and we got our image. Um, you could have fun with this text, by the way. Uh, you can always change the fill size if you want to change the color of it. So you can say fill and blue, zero, zero, 255. And then you can like add it, change the stroke, which is the outline of it. And you can make it like yellow, which is like 255, 255, zero. And so maybe your text could look a little bit prettier if you wanted to. That's just if you're into it. Stroke weight is uh, two. Okay, looking good. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to have it actually change photos to our next meme. We want like the text and everything to change when I click a button. So we got to create a button now. All right. So hold on. I'm gonna move everything down a little. All right. So now we're gonna make our button that changes the actual image and then we'll change the actual text. So first we gotta make a button. So first we're gonna make an ellipse, right? So I'm gonna make my button. I'm gonna put my button here. So I'm gonna say ellipse is at 200, 200. Nope, that's not where I want it all. Uh, 200, 550, and 50. Let's see if I get an ellipse on the screen. Well, oh, that's not good enough. Let's put it at, oh, our thing is 300. Let's put it at 570. Ooh, that's good. We got our first button. Now. Okay. So when we click this, we want to have it change. So to make it clickable, you might remember we circle this. So we'll say let um, first meme button. Okay. Now we're going to have this clickable. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little thing here. We're going to say initializes first meme button is equal to the distance between my mouse X, mouse Y, and the center of that button, which is 300 by 570. All right, we got our distance. Now we make our if statement. First meme button is equal, sorry, is less than 25. And mouse is pressed. What that'll do is make our button clickable. And now we're going to put what we want to happen inside of here. All right, oh, that's wrong. So what here is the key to the whole project. What you're going to say is first meme, sorry, what do we call our meme? But we called it meme image. We're going to say meme image is equal to, and now we're going to say create image. And we're going to switch that to the dog.jpg. So what we should have now is that when we press this button, it'll switch our image, which is the meme image. Remember, that's what holds the image to dog.jpg. So watch what happens. So I'm going to press play now, and boom, now I get the dog. But obviously, we want the text to also change. So we should also change our text. So we're going to say meme header text. And we're also going to change that to like, look, I'm a dog. So, um, OK, if we press play and we try this again, you'll see that it also changes. Obviously, you should do the same thing for the footer. And then you should figure out how to change your and you should search learn how to change your background color as well. All right, that's it for this project. Your goal is to get five of the minimum and then do those extension activities. All right, that's it for this video. Peace out, kiss your mother.